Hello, in this video we will be uh, learning about uh, how to simulate the MOSFET characteristics uh, using LTSpice. So for that let me click on the new schematic to open the new file and first of all I need to find out what are the components that are required. So in order to study the characteristics of MOSFET, I need a MOSFET device and two resistances and two voltage sources which has to be connected in this particular configuration. So in order to take it, I am let me uh, go to the component list and here I need an uh, MOSFET. So you know, I need an N channel enhancement MOSFET. So the component label here is NMOS. Okay, NMOS is the component label for MOSFET. So I am placing a MOSFET over here. Only one MOSFET is sufficient. And then I need a two resistances. Uh, let me take it in this orientation by using the rotate command. I am taking it. Then again I need a voltage source. So uh, let me uh, go and type in the search box the voltage. If we click OK, again I need uh, two voltage source, one is to the gate, the other one for the uh, drain circuit and then in order to have a common reference node, I need a ground point, so I am connecting it here. Now I collected all the components, whatever uh, required for uh, the simulation and then I need to connect the components by means of a wire. So by clicking on this pencil sign, then I will get the wire for connecting. So. I am connecting all the components as per the uh, circuit diagram. The circuit is complete now. Once the circuit is complete, then again I need to give the values for the resistances and the voltage sources. And for my convenience, let me rename the voltage sources uh, that V1 as VGS as it is connected across the gate and the source of the MOSFET and V2 as VDS as it is connected across the drain terminal and the source terminal. So to rename this, I am going to right click on this label uh, V2 uh, VDS. And here I am going to right click on V1 and again I am going to type VGS. Okay, and VGS, uh, uh, let me give a uh, value of 10 volt. And I am doing this by right clicking. Uh, once I move it, uh, move the MOS pointer over the source, it will change like a hand symbol. Now, if I right click, it will ask for the DC value, it gives us 10. And the series resistance, we need not to give any value for all the sources, whatever it is. And similarly, VDS. Uh, I am right clicking on it. Let me give a DC value of 30 volt. And similarly, uh, I, I need to give the values of the resistances. By default, it is R ohms. Let me change this to 220 to the gate side and uh, 10 ohms uh, to the drain side. Now the circuit is ready uh, for simulation. We need to give a uh, simulation command for this. So first let me plot the uh, transfer characteristics. Transfer characteristics is nothing but the plot of the drain current as a function of uh, gate to source voltage by maintaining your VDE to be constant. Okay. So in order to edit the simulation command and let me go to simulate and edit simulation command. Now what I am uh, doing here is I am keeping, I am varying this particular voltage source and I am finding the response at some other point of, uh, uh, some, at some other point in the circuit. So for this sort of analysis, I should select DC sweep. So DC sweep, I can do, uh, vary, I can vary three sources at a time in the order of first source, second source and third source. Let, let me give the first source value. I want to vary the uh, VGS. So I am giving the label. The Whatever the name I used here for VGS, the same name I should give it here. And the type of sweep. I should give the linear sweep. Linear means between the start value and stop value, the value will, uh, the points will be varied continuously. So my start value is 0 and the stop value is 10 and I am going to give an increment of 1 volt. Click on OK. Then I will get a command like this. I can place it anywhere on the uh, screen. Yeah. Then I should click on Edit Run. So once I give this, automatically I am getting uh, a new window is opened. Uh, in the scope window where it has uh, the x-axis, the parameter which we are given as a sweep, that is VGS, from 
0 to 10 volt as a uh, step of 1 volt. Now I need to measure the current in the drain. Now if I move the mouse cursor over the circuit, if you see if I place the mouse cursor on the line, it will be uh, showing a uh, red color uh, pointer. This is an voltage measurement. Now if I move this across an element, it, it is changing to an uh, a clamp means it is capable of measuring current now. Now I want to measure the current uh, through the drain. So I am placing the drain and then I am giving a left click. Once I do this, then automatically uh, I am getting the drain characteristics plotted. Now I can find the test points by right clicking on the plane and then uh, click on view, mark data points. You see this 0, 1 volt, 2 volt, 3 volt, 4, 5. At these points, we are you are able to uh, see a data mark. Since we have given one volt as the step, we got this uh, 11 points totally. And if you want to copy this uh, screen, uh, if you want to copy the scope, then you need to go to tools, then copy uh, bitmap to clipboard. Once you are given this, then automatically uh, the image is copied to the clipboard and you can paste it in the word processing document. Okay, and the next is I need to perform uh, the transfer characteristics. So in the transfer characteristics, uh, what I need to do is, uh, sorry, the drain characteristics, I should vary uh, VGS from zero to maximum by keeping VGS constant. I should repeat this for certain, uh, several values of VGS between the minimum and the maximum. So in that case, my priority changes means for every VGS value, I should vary the VGS from 0 to maximum. So I need to change this in my simulation command. My circuit remains same, only the simulation command shows in what type of or what method of analysis I am going to perform. So I am right clicking on this simulation command, then it is giving an, uh, it is opening the command. Now what I need to do is, I need to vary VDS initially. I should consider the first source to be VDS and second source to be VGS. So I am modifying the source name over here. My first source is VDS. I should vary linearly from 0 to 30 volt. Now in this case, I am going to give an increment of 0 0.1 volt. Okay. And the second source is going to be my VGS. Again, it's a linear value. My start value is 0 and the end value is 10. Now I am going to give an increment of 2 value, 2 volt. Okay. You might have the question why uh, for VDS I have given a variation of 0 0.1 and uh, for VGS I am giving a uh, variation of 2 volt. So in the previous transfer characteristics itself we came, we came to know that even if VGS is varying a wide range, uh, wide ranges the current is not varying in a uh, large and uh, larger scale. So that's why uh, I have given uh, the variation of 2 volt uh, for VGS. The step variation to be 2 volts. So uh, how the uh, simulation will run is initially it will take VGS values equal to 0 and then the VDS value is incremented from 0 to 30 volt in a step of 0.1 volt. One set of characteristics will be plotted. Then my VGS will be changed from 0 to 2 volt. So with 2 volt again uh, my VDS is varied from 0 to 30 in step of 0 0.1 volt. In that way, it is going to happen. So let me click on the run and let us see how the work characteristics are built. So this red line is corresponding to VGS equal to 0 volt. The same blue is for VGS equal to 2 volt and this black is for VGS 4 and this um, green uh, is like for uh, VGS of 6 volt and this pink is for VGS of 8 volt and again this gray is uh, VGS of 10 volt. Suppose if you want to have an annotation, if you want to draw anything or if you want to draw, uh, add a text, you can use the right click on this pen then draw on the text. Whatever the text you want to have it, you can type it, you can uh, type it VGS equal to 10 volt. Okay, and the vertical units is ampere. So let me give it. I'm placing this. This is for VGS of 10. And similarly, I'm going to add uh, one more. One more uh, that is your VGS equal to 8 volt. So again, I can place it over here. See, all these are presentation tips to improve your uh, uh, presentation in your document. So this is for your. Uh, VGS of 6 volt. Click on OK and I am giving it here. Right? 
and if you see the characteristics uh, the area below the curve remains the cutoff region and the area on the curve in this region is your saturation and this particular region where your voltage and current are proportional is considered as an ohmic region okay so under ohmic region the mass that will act like a closed switch means it will conduct large amount of current by having an, a negligible voltage drop across it and under cutoff condition given whatever the voltage you apply the current will be equal to zero or the minimum and this is the condition for an open switch in the open switch the current is zero and whatever the voltage we are applying it will be blocked okay and MOSFET, no, mostly MOSFET will never be used under uh, the saturation region. The reason is, the resistance of MOSFET is quite high. That's why it has never been used in the uh, saturation region. Okay, thank you.